Two men are facing drug charges after allegedly cloning a cash app account of someone who bought narcotics. According to a press release from the Richmond County Sheriff's Office, deputies responded to a fraud call on Tuesday with the reporting person saying he had bought narcotics from someone and paid using cash app. The alleged victim reportedly told deputies that after the transaction, he discovered that the suspect had cloned his account and had withdrawn $4,000 with another $900 pending transfer. Deputies had the reporting person call the suspect to have him come back to his home and waited down the road until a vehicle matching the description pulled into the driveway, according to the sheriff's office. The deputies then approached the vehicle, identifying the driver as 36-year-old Marquis Edward Peggy's of Hamlet and a passenger as 45-year-old Thurman Nelson Jr. of Rockingham, the release states. The two men were reportedly asked to get out of the car and patted down for weapons. Deputies say Nelson had an unlabeled pill bottle in his pocket containing two Lorixet pills and a baggie each of cocaine and meth. They also reportedly found 58 grams of crack cocaine, 7.6 grams of powder cocaine, and digital scales under the seat where Pegas was sitting. Pegas was charged with possession of cocaine and possession of Schedule II controlled substance and released on a $5,000 unsecured bond. A woman is facing multiple drug charges following an investigation into the sale of illegal narcotics. Investigators with the Rockingham Police Department executed a search warrant on Garrett Street home on Tuesday, according to a press release. The release, posted to the RPD's Facebook page on Wednesday, does not indicate how much of which drugs were reportedly found. Police have charged 41-year-old Amy Lee Parker with two counts of possession with intent to manufacture, sell, or deliver a Schedule 4 and 2 controlled substance, as well as trafficking in meth, opioid, and or heroin. Parker was booked into Rich County Jail where she is being held on a $200,000 secured bond. She is scheduled to appear in court on April 20th. A season sweep of Pinecrest on Tuesday was only topped by the Lady Rares securing their spot in the postseason later this spring. Using a 9-5 victory, Richmond punched its ticket to the 4A East playoffs by clinching the top spot of the three 4A schools in the conference. Winning their 7th of 8 SAC games to start the season, the Lady Raiders earned their 17th straight victory over the Lady Patriots. Senior Houston Levine contributed on both sides, pitching a complete game and adding three hits and three runs scored. And the circle Levine gave up five runs on seven hits while striking out 10 batters. Richmond notched 12 hits off of the starting pitcher as Katie Way kept her bat hot with a trio of hits. The junior shortstop recorded a game-high three RBIs. The Lady Rares are set to hit the road on Thursday for one more conference game at Hope County before spring break. The game will begin at 7 p.m. The numbers were nearly identical in Tuesday's pitchers duel between Richmond and Lee County in the baseball side, but the Raiders finished on the wrong end of a one-run game. Playing the first of two games against the Yellow Jackets in two days, Richmond suffered a 1-0 loss on the road. It was starting pitchers Cameron Seagraves and Walker McDuffie who controlled the tempo as both battled on the mound for the majority of the game. Seagraves threw five innings and gave up just one earned run on two hits. He struck out nine batters. For the Yellow Jackets, McDuffie threw a complete game and surrendered five hits while walking a batter and striking out 12 Raiders. The chances were there for the Raiders to score, but they stranded seven runners on base, including three in scoring position. The Raiders will have a quick turnaround and host Lee County tonight for the series finale before spring break. That game will begin at 7 p.m. When we return, we've got your Live at 5 weather report. It's coming up after the break, so stay tuned. Hometown heroes? Well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham, 
And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. And welcome to your live at Five Weather Report. I hope you're staying cool out there today, folks, because it has been a hot, hot day here in the Sand Hills and it's going to continue to be warm for the next several hours. Getting right into it, today's been a party cloudy day for the most part, and we'll continue to see that throughout the evening. No chance to rain whatsoever. 85 will be for the next hour as 9 o'clock rolls through. We'll see 75 and it'll drop down a little bit more as we get into towards midnight, 11 p.m., 72 degrees. We've got a sunset at 7.43 p.m. and there will be a full moon phase out tonight as well. Looking at tomorrow, we got a lot of cloud coverage coming into the area and it's going to be scattered throughout the entire Sand Hills region. Cumberland County, a high of 86, low of 67. Hope County, a high of 86 in the low of 66, with Robertson County seeing a high of 86 in the low of 67. Same for Scotland County, as Moore County will be seeing just one degree cooler on the high. Richmond County will be seeing a high of 85 in the low of 66. Across PD and Anson County, a high of 85 in the low of 67, as well as Marlboro County. So, really warm day once again tomorrow. Now getting into the seven day forecast, we got lots of rain coming up for the weekend and we're not getting away from it whatsoever. The, the uh, chances have been rising all week long and we're getting them up close to 100% chance at this point. They are at 90s now as Friday seeing a high of 70, low of 47. We're gonna cool off quite a bit on Saturday with a high of 50 and a low of 45. Now Easter Sunday is looking to be a 60% chance of rain, high of 58, low of 42, but temperature will continue to climb back up as we get into next week's work week. Monday, a high of 65, a low of 41 with sunny skies. Tuesday, also sunny with a high of 69 and a low of 43. And then the round out seven day forecast, Wednesday with party cloudy skies at a high of 73 and a low of 47. And that's going to do it for your Live at 5 weather report and for tonight's edition of Live at 5. For the latest news, sports, and events happening in Richmond County, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or download the free RO app for your mobile devices. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Rich Gang.